Kids love fairness and sometimes they go ballistic when they feel like they're being gypped out of equal portions of anything, particularly with a sibling and particularly around food. Hey, your piece is way bigger than mine. But you always get the biggest piece. If they keep coming to you with their problem, it might be because they're used to you stepping in and resolving it. I can tell you I got tired of those battles. Either one kid felt like the winner and the other the loser, or even worse, they both got mad at me. And it's all over splitting one cookie. Yikes. Are you thinking of someone else who has the same kind of battles? Send them a friendly forward of this email and invite them to join our community. There's a simple strategy that with a little modeling will get you out of the middle and empower your kids to solve a host of issues, especially effective with food. We call it, I cut, you choose. All of us love this strategy. Let's take it at its simplest form. So here's a piece of cake. One person cuts it as fairly as they can. And the other person gets to choose which portion they want. I'll take this one. It really transfers control of the situation to your kids. Very empowering. I would have picked that one too. Here are some tips to help this fairness strategy be effective. One, have the kids agree on how to decide who's the cutter and who's the chooser, like rock, paper, scissors, or flipping a coin. It's fair and can eliminate an argument. Walk them through the strategy a couple of times. Teach them and show them what to do. Patience is always good modeling. You want them to really learn it so you don't have to be involved in the future. It's worth a small investment in time and energy and will pay off many times down the road. You also want them to agree to accept the outcome no matter what without fussing. Say something like, remember, once one person cuts and the other person chooses, there's no whining or complaining. Can you both agree to that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Give lots of praise when they do it on their own. Focus on how good it feels to see them resolving this issue fairly. You can even use this with little kids. Hand over hand, help them out. This week, look for an opportunity or create one where you can add this great tool to your tool belt. You're really helping your children learn responsibility and problem solving skills. Next week, I've got an amazing happiness habit that only takes a minute and has a huge payoff in your day. See you next time.